Hey guys, welcome to another day of the vlogs. So we're here in Northern Greece. My friend Stefan and I will be doing some um, road tripping. We're gonna see some wolves. Arr, arr, arr. <laughs> see some lynx. Arr. Then we're gonna do some um, wine tourism, go see the vineyards. Gook, 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 gook. <laughs> and um, finally, we're gonna close the day off with a nice property. Um, it's a listing that you'll find down below in the link. My agent, uh, Nick, he's gonna provide the details. You can call him for anything you need. So it's a beautiful day today, and I hope you have fun watching us. Let's get it. I want to thank. Um, I want to thank our sponsors for this video. Um, it's a called um, it's this nice product that everyone here uses. It's uh, the number one and most accessible um, bra in the in the country. It's called Pretty Bra. It's for women and men to wear so if you want to you can find the details down below so just whatever you need you can thank pretty bra for the sponsorship of this video so let's have a good day today Welcome back everyone, mission was a success, we saw three white wolves, three lynxes, overall a great experience, I recommend you all come here, um, unfortunately we weren't able to get videos because it's forbidden in the sanctuary, but it was a wonderful experience, we saw the importance of the wolf and the ecosystem and how important balance is to create a healthy and sustainable ecosystem. And specifically uh, bears and wolves, which are vital to uh, the ecosystem. And um, well, we were able to, to, to get a little small video of the lynx, but that's, uh, that's confidential, that's confidential. So anyway, now we're continuing our journey. We're going to the vineyards. We're gonna see the number one um, fastest growing um, cultural area in Greece right now. Uh, they produce mostly um, the red variety of Xinomavro, but you can also find other varieties such as um, Sauvignon Blanc, Chardonnay, uh, Asirticon. So overall it's a, it's a great place with a really nice culture. So let's head back there. Alpha. You can see the vineyard down there. They make really good wine, and of course, they're one of our biggest competitors out here. But it's always nice to see people doing good work.
Okay, now we're in the area of Samaropetra. This is an area where we produce Sauvignon Blanc variety as well as some other white varieties. We're in a high altitude, close to the lakes. The, um, the soil is um, sandy. It provides for good uh, water flow. Follow me inside the vineyard. As you can see, harvest time is over. We've taken all the grapes from the vineyards. These are quite young vineyards, as you can see. And now it's time for the, for the vines to rest. The leaves are falling and they're getting ready for next year's harvest. Soon, um, we'll come, cut the, the yearly branches as we say them, let them rest for the winter, and then again, it's gonna start all over again until September, October, where we reharvest the vines and the grapes. Follow me. This was a good year. There was some rain right before harvest. We were worried because too much water is not good for the grapes. Uh, but it turned out well. As you can see, it's a beautiful day here and it's a great day to be alive. So, a wonderful day is coming to an end. We're going up the mountain now. See this listing I was talking to you about. And then the hosts have graciously invited us for a nice wine tasting in which we're gonna taste the wines that, from the vineyards we just saw. Uh, well, that's about it, I'll see you up there. Welcome, come on in. So today we'll be seeing this wonderful listing up in the mountainous region of Greece. As you can see, it has a great garden with impeccable views and a really nice scenery. The weather is quite cold right now, so I was gonna wear a jacket, but you know, for the video. Anyway, as you can see, the garden provides vegetables, even um, berries sometimes. It's a really nice place to relax, sit, enjoy the calmness of the area. Follow me to the storage facility. Inside here, we have a nice storage facility. It works as a, an office as well, to do some work. And um, over here, the owner keeps the wood for the winter. So the house is this, uh, from outside, it's an old house, built in the early 20th century, and um, it's a great listing, you can find the details down below. It's a three bedroom, two bathroom house, with a wonderful living room, and some a secret amenity I would like to show you, which I really loved about this place. So come on. Two doors. During the winter it gets pretty cold here. So they use this two door system in order to stop the heat from coming out and the cold from coming in. So we arrive at this house. A very classical look. This is an old stove. It's not used anymore, but this is how they used to warm the house. They would put the wood inside here, and then this was connected up with uh, big pipes that would warm all around the house. We have a nice library here. And if we go here to the right, you can see it's, it's very short because this used to be lower and they have to take it a bit higher because it used to be mud back in the day. 
So anyway, they, they put it higher and then you had to compromise somehow. So watch your head. Uh, so we entered the living room. This is a classical living room in this area. You have nice beds, fireplace, which we're going to use, and a small modern touch, let's say with a, a new TV. We have old pictures, Saloniki, um, and other uh, stuff. And here's the, the owner's family. So let's continue. Now the bathroom is very spacious. Um, let's take our shoes off actually, because the owner will be mad. It's very spacious, you can see. Nice bathtub. Um, marble you have a nice toilet and of course this lovely couch where you can sit and relax as somebody's either doing their business all right let's go and see the rooms now as i said before it has three bedrooms um, all three of them are in great taste. You can see the paintings up here. There's nothing modern about this house, but it still keeps its great identity. So, first, we have a service room here. We have the service room here. Two beds can use for children as well. Um, so yeah, it's, it's okay. You can see outside the trees. This is one of the rooms that's been less used during the era. There used to be um, an attic upstairs where you go through there, but it still needs some renovations. So, first room on our right. Um, this is a wonderful room. As you can see, it has the same aesthetic as the living room, but it's, instead you have two beds over here. You can even put one in the middle, so perfect for five people. Nice cupboards over here. As you can see, there's a lot of space. Um, and a nice view, you get a great night's sleep over here. Next, we see the second room, which is basically the same concept, lying down. Four or five people, preferably be four people here. Um, so yeah. It's great for kids, families, everything around. And now we're gonna go to the owner suite, which has a, a nice, a nice table, table, a nice bed, um, ensuite bathroom, as you can see here. It can be hidden from common view. And it's perfect for a good night's sleep. Now in the morning, you're gonna wake up, open your windows, and see these magnificent views of the village. Let's go down to see the kitchen and my favorite part of the house. Now, our agent, Nick, has been very kind to provide this, uh, this house. It's a very rare place to find. It's not very common to find listings like that because it has a great price, great everything. It's in impeccable condition. Um, another thing that Stefan's wanted me to show you is this balcony here. 
bed. It's just a nice balcony. You can see the village. It's pretty nice. Close that, lock it back up, and let's go down to the kitchen. Next table. As I was saying, Nick, a region, um, he's from Toronto, so you don't find listings like that. You, you usually find Canadian listings with him, but this is something that was given as a favor to us. So we're very lucky to show this place. Now, kitchen. Great big kitchen. Nice dining table. Sit six to eight people. Smaller area. Cupboards here. Nice fridge. Um, everything, as you can see, keeps this classic look. Stove, everything, everything. Water directly from the source, comes from the mountain. Impeccable taste. And now, let me show you my favorite part of this house. Right here is a storage facility that also used to work as a fridge during the winter days. It's gonna get cold, so beware. There is not much light, but it gets cold. So now, it's time for wine tasting. Welcome, Stefan. Hi, John. That was a beautiful day. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, it was. Would you like to end the day on a beautiful note? We're going to taste Samarobetra. This is a wine that comes from the vineyards we just saw. It's a Sauvignon Blanc, white variety wine. 2020 is the year. And I hope you enjoy. Thanks, John. So. Yeah, so today was a beautiful day, right? We uh, started by... Um... Wait. Cheers. Cheers. So we started... How did we start, John? We started out with a vision. A vision of what the perfect vlog could be. So me and Stefan, we, we've been thinking about this for a long time now. And basically... I took some convincing. It was yeah. a, a... Basically, we realized that a great vlog is a vlog that has travel, information, and real estate inside. So we and managed... And of course, spirits. And of course, yeah, spirits, number one. So we, we tried to combine it. It's a first experiment. I think we're gonna do many more in the future. And I gotta say, it was fun doing it. Yes, sir. To many more, and to many years more. Even if it doesn't work, we had a blast. Exactly. So, thank you all for watching our video. Um, please like and subscribe. And we hope you have the judgment to enjoy uh, Tirianni wine yourself one day. All right, thanks for coming. Can I play some music? I will be so glad to have you. Hey guys, what's up? Um, this is Yanis here. Welcome to my vlog. I uh, hope you're all doing well today. So this is a special two-part episode we're gonna do. Um, mm -hmm. 
Θα πάμε να, θα πάμε να δούμε τις, του, τους είμαστε, λύκους. Είμαστε στον Ινφέρον Φλόρνες στην Ελληνή Ελλάδα και σήμερα το πρόγραμμα, το πρόγραμμα μας έχει. Θα πάμε να δούμε λύκους και λίγες. Μετά θα πάμε να κάνουμε λίγο ενωτουρισμό, θα πάμε να δούμε κάτι αμπέλια. Ενό πολύ καλό μου φίλου που είναι πάρα πολύ καλό συνοποιός. Μετά τα μπέλα θα γυρίσουμε για να σας κάνω review ένα σπίτι του που πάει προς πώληση και θα κάνουμε ένες, το ζεις τον ένες. Όχι. Τον ένες που κάνει τα reviews των σπιτιών. Δεν το ξέρω. Αυτό, αυτό το ξανθούλι το τεράστιο που κάνει. Όχι, όχι. Ένες, ένες, ένες vlogs. Και μετά θα γυρίσουμε πίσω, εδώ, mm-hmm. αφού κάνουμε αυτά και θα κάνουμε review του σπίτι. Hey guys, welcome to this wonderful property in the north of Greece. Um, my friend Giovanni has let, let me show you the house. You can find the details down below and contact my agent for any details. So this is a wonderful old house in a small village in the north of Greece. And it's going for the good price of just under $10 million. It's a three bedroom, one bathroom and a hell of a ride. So. Follow me in. Και θα δούμε μέσα, θα δείξουμε, ξέρω εγώ, εδώ θα, θα είναι το τζέκα να μένω, ξέρω εγώ, ξέρω, και θα, θα, θα κάνουμε έτσι, θα δούμε μέσα στο μπάιο, θα μιλήσουμε λίγο, θα δούμε μέσα, mm-hmm. θα, θα, θα μιλήσουμε λίγο. Και, το, θα, το, και μετά αυτό και στο τέλο. θα είναι, θα, ή, ή άμα είναι ακόμα μέρα θα κάτσουμε, θα κάτσουμε έξω και θα κάνουμε λίγο Q&A, θα γράψουμε μερικές ερωτήσει και καλά, τις πλάκες θα δούμε. Mm-hmm. <laughs> ή εδώ πέρα, χαλάρος. Με ένα ποτήρι κρασί και θα κάνουμε, θα κάνουμε λίγο έτσι, κατάλαβες. Οκ. Okay. Q&A. Και μετά τη δεύτερη μέρα θα είναι vlog ταξιδιού. Δηλαδή, μέσα από το βουνό ναι, και τέτοια. Ναι. Φτάνουμε στο ενωπείο και κάνουμε vlog ενωπείου. Εντάξει, vlog ενωπείου δεν χρειάζεται. Επειδή εγώ πιστεύω πως θα μου πάρει από τη χαρά του να δω το ενωπείο όπως θα ήθελα, άμα είμαστε γύρω γύρω με την Όχι, κάμερα. Ρε, το Τα δύο... υπόλοιπα δεκτά. Θα πάμε να το δεις εσύ όλο. Και μετά θα κάνουμε το vlog. Οκ. Okay. Και τι θα κάνουμε μετά με το footage. Ή θα κάνουμε, ή θα κάνουμε, θα δούμε, θα κάνουμε, θα κάνουμε την πρώτη μέρα. Να δούμε πώς βγαίνει η πρώτη μέρα. Τι θα κάνουμε το footage. Θα το κάνουμε edit ρε. Και πού θα, τι θα κάνουμε, θα το ανεβάσουμε στο YouTube. Ε, θα το κρατήσουμε για μας. Ρε φίλε, να το κάνουμε, να το στείλουμε στο YouTube ή πες να το στείλω σε κάτι φίλοι μου. Αυτή η φίλη θα το κάνουμε αυτό. Θα γελάσουμε. Άρα θα το κάνουμε για να διασκεδάσουμε τους φίλους. Ναι, ναι. Okay. Εσύ δεν θα είσαι μέσα, θα είσαι καμπρομάν. Ό,τι θέλει. Εκτό και αν θε να είσαι μέσα. Θα το κοιτάξουμε. Μπορεί να το παίξει ότι είσαι ο, ο, ο owner του property. Παρόλο που θα είναι άτομα που μοιάζουν και, με σένα στο στίχο. Όχι, και να κάνουμε ότι, ότι είσαι ένα Γερμανό που μπαίνει εδώ χρόνια, ξέρω εγώ. Αυστριακό, αν τη θέλει. Και να μιλά μόνο γερμανικά και, και να μην καταλαβαίνει κανεί τίποτα και να κάνω εγώ μετάφραση και κάτι Θα μπορούσαμε να κάνουμε και λε και είναι ε, σε parallel universe που είναι κάποιο που μοιάζει ακριβώ σαν και εσένα και έχει κάνει οικογένεια άλλου αυτού, ξέρω εγώ. Κατάλαβε τι εννοώ. Τσε καλά, μπόχο, πήγαμε σε ένα σπίτι και είδαμε παντού το μάπ που μοιάζει σαν τη Γιάννη. Είναι, είναι, είναι κωμικό, κατάλαβε, έχει πλάκα. Ναι. Δεν πρέπει... Άρα δεν θε να το πάμε λίγο στο sci-fi. Όχι, όχι, δεν, δεν, θα, θα, είναι, θα είναι κομικό vlog που, που κάνουμε vlog ότι και καλά. Κατάλαβα. Πρέπει να σου δείξει αριθμητή φάση γιατί είχαμε βγάλει από αυτού 